Okay, now that we have this um, ready to go, first off, I'm going to power up the TV, turn the power on, and then figure out what channel of HDMI we're going to use. All right, so the TV is an element directly from Walmart. Not a big deal, so anybody can do this. All right, notice is on television, so we're going to go ahead and change the channel source. Now, the only way we can tell what channel is going to use is we're going to have to go ahead and turn on the uh, the computer or the ad server. So we reach back here, press the button on the little ad server, make sure the little blue light turns on. All right, it does. Now, while that's trying to power up, we're going to go through and change the source on the TV to the HDMI. I think it's HDMI 2. We'll try it. We'll know it's right because of the computer. Yep, there you go. So notice that the computer's trying to start up right now, just like it would on if it was connected to a monitor. In this case, we're using the TV as a monitor. And notice now we have the basic uh, high there screen from Windows 10. And let me make sure you can see everything I see. And I'm going to set up one for you directly while we are here. So, remember that you need a keyboard for this guy. So I'm going to use a standard Walmart keyboard, wireless keyboard that I bought for $19.95. Uh, these keyboards come with a little dongle. Let me put this little cap down. It sits here in the back right here. Make sure you have batteries in it. So I'm going to take this little dongle out. And we pull that out of there like that. Put this back on. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is take that little dongle and go to the back of the TV and plug it into my little unit. You can probably see it from there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the USB port. I'm going to plug this dongle in. There it is. So there, there you go. The dongle's in place. And now the keyboard should be ready to control this little computer. Let me move my camera back to the screen. Take my keyboard, turn the power on. Power's right here. Turn it on. And let's see if it's working. Sure enough, we have a mouse. So now we can go ahead and start setting this up to work as an ad server. Now I've already set up stuff um, you know, for this ad server. Now if you were to get one from us, it would automatically be set up, but this is how you would do it if you were going to do a do-it-yourself. First off, we're going to go ahead and set our time zone. In my case, it would be Central Standard Time. Go ahead and say Next. All the other stuff is good. This is all happening in real time. You know, you read the agreement. Yes, you agree to all whatever they're saying. Accept. Go ahead and connect it to your Wi-Fi at this time. And I'm going to connect it to this one, which is my own. Let me see if I can do the password here. Let's see if it works. Say next. Looks like it. I'm going to use the express settings for right now. And I'm going to, oh, I already came up. There's the high. And it says uh, we're setting things up for you. It's pretty cool. Windows 10 is pretty good. Uh, this would be a little different if it wasn't Windows 10. It would be something different. I know uh, version 8 is, you know, a real pain in the neck to set up. 8.1 is not as bad. And then 10 is really easy. 7 is easy. XP is easy. Uh, even um, Windows Vista is easy because it'll run on all these for formats. Now remember that the software only works on a Windows platform. So I'm showing you how to set this up on Windows 10, which happens to be on this Lenovo uh, Ideal Century 300 stick. You can use the same thing on any other if you're going to do it by yourself. 
and what I'm doing here is the self install or the do it yourself it would come to you already set up and all you'd have to do is plug it into the TV and um, set up your internet and then you'd be ready to rock and roll so I might okay so now we have Windows so it's up and running but we have to do some things to make this work first off let's go ahead and set the resolution of the screen because it'll be not correct so we're going to right mouse click in the middle of the screen and hit graphic properties click on display set the display resolution from whatever it is in this case this is 1920 by 1080 we're going to change that all the way down to 1024 by 768 which is the lowest resolution when it comes to signs low resolution means a bright screen because the pixels become bigger all right so we will apply that now it's ready and you know say yes to this thing even though it knows it says you can do better okay then we can go ahead and close this window now our resolution is correct we should be on the internet right now but let's set up some other things uh, so the screen doesn't blank and uh, the system doesn't shut down so let's go over here to the start menu click that go to settings hit system remember this is Windows 10 go to about first thing we want to do is rename our PC to the server name I've given you uh, since you're doing this uh, on your own and I'm going to set this one to um, Showtime and if I spelled it right and it's the first machine so it'll be dash 01 if it was a second machine, dash 02, third machine, dash 03, even you know, using your server name I've given you. This is your network name. Now, if you've done it right, it's going to ask you to reboot the machine. So we're going to get it, yep, we're going to restart it. And since this is a solid state device, there's no moving parts except for the little fan, it should reboot really quick. So we're shutting it down now. Uh, and it's also if it doesn't try to do an update. You know, with Windows. So I know it's this down. Coming back. And here we go again. And it should come right back to Windows Direct. And not ask for a login if everything's correct. Notice up top it sets the resolution. Now it's logging in. And boom. <clears throat> We're on the screen, ready to go. The Wi-Fi is set up. If you notice down here in this corner, Wi-Fi is there already. Now we're almost done. Uh, we're going to go in now. And we don't really care about these. They will not mess with your display uh, because they'll go away in Windows 10. So it doesn't matter if they come on the screen or not. But the first thing we're going to do before we even install the software is going to go here and we're going to go to settings again. <coughs> And we're going to set up some device things. Uh, as a matter of fact, easier way is to get out of this. Let's close this. And right mouse click out in the middle of space. And hit, uh, I think it's display settings. Let's see what that is. Yep. I think that's it. And we're going to go down here to where it says power and sleep. Take that 10 minutes or whatever it is that defaults out of there. And take it down to never okay then we're going to go to additional power settings we are going to go to let's see where are the advanced settings here choose when you're choose when to turn off your display is click that it's set to never but right underneath that see where it says change advanced power settings let's click that now let's walk through here notice it says turn hard drive off after so many minutes. Well, there's no hard drive here. So we're going to take that all the way down to never. We're also going to look at the wireless adapter to make sure it's never turning off. Set to maximum power, that's fine. Notice under sleep, it says uh, important wake up timers only, that's fine. Let's keep on going down. There's a, another area here you want to make sure. 
All right, let's see, power buttons, we don't care about that. Processor management, we don't care about that, that's fine. Display, again, it says turn off display after, set the never. Enable adaptive brightness is off because we don't have a, a system for that. And let's see, anything else we need to look at? Okay, we don't need any of that stuff. So bottom line is you're looking through here to make sure there's nothing that says that it's going to go off at a specific time. All right, background settings, slideshow. We don't care about that because we're not going to be using that. Wireless adapter mode, we already went through that. Sleep, we already went through that. Make sure everything is okay. Be settings, we got that all set up. It's all standard. So, all right, we're done. So let's go ahead and apply all that stuff. Okay. Now we're ready. We can turn, we can close off these windows. And now let's go to the internet. Remember, that's what we set up when we first started. We set up the internet. Open this up a little bit. And we're going to go to Digital Advertising Media. DAM for short. Enter that, and if your internet's working, it should come up to the screen, and it does. And we're going to go to Downloads. And we're going to look for the software that says Live Setup. See that? Live Setup. We'll click that. See right here, there's the actual link, Damn Live Setup. Click that. Everything's working fine. It should be downloading. Notice it's downloading. It doesn't take very long. Looks like we have a few seconds. It's running a scan on a downloaded file. And once it's done, we can say, there we go. We can say open. There it is. So we're going to double click that. Alright, now it's an unknown publisher, which is me. I'm the one who wrote software. I'm not uh, in the system as a publisher, but here we go. Just go ahead and say yes. There it runs the software. You can just say next. You agree to my little licensing agreement, which is really nothing. Um, the name is picked up already by your computer. You don't have to fill any of this stuff. It's already going to put it in the proper folder. So name it properly, and we just say OK. All right, we're finished. It's that quick. Let's close some of these windows down. Close all your tabs down. You won't need any stuff. So now, if everything works fine, all we have to do is restart it. Go to power, restart, and it should wake up properly. Here we go. Let's see what happens. This is how it would be out in the field. Now watch what happens. We'll wait a few seconds. A little box should show up in the middle of the screen. I was doing all this little window stuff, and there's the little box. That box is saying. We'll auto start in 30 seconds, or you can start now. You don't want to start now for the first time. You want to let it wait, because in these 30 seconds is when it gets an update to the software, if available. So let's just wait. There it is, update ad server. There's trying to run now. The little G in the corner is basically saying that the internet's good. G for good. It's now updating the sizing requirements from what's been stored. It's downloading some files now. And I have something on here already. 
I had set it up for uh, Valentine's Day. Now it's downloading the GIF files that go on the right side. Now it's setting up the system for however it was set up in general. So in this case, this was set up for a full screen mode. And now it's running. When those uh, words are scrolling at the bottom, that's letting you know that it truly is operating. Uh, and there you go. That's the next ad. Every 15 seconds, you'll see that. And then after every 10 ads, you'll see a random video if available. And that's about it. You're in business. All right. I'll see you in the next video.